Welcome to Munich in Germany for the final of the 1993 Men's European Basketball Championships. To the delight of the fans, the host nation Germany beat Spain in overtime in the quarterfinal and then Greece in another nail-biter in the semi-final. Their opponents, Russia, have had a more comfortable passage through the elimination rounds and are most people's favourites to win their first title since the breakup of the Soviet Union. Names to look out there for number nine, Sergei Bezarevich and number 10, Sergei Babkov. Very experienced players and two young men, Andrei Fetisov, number 13, and Mikhail Mikhailov, number 11. A mixture of youth and experience for coach Yuri Selikov. The coach replaced the legendary Alexander Gomelsky in 1991. Germany, they're coached by Svetislav Pesic, a 44-year-old Serb who coached the Yugoslav Journeys to the World Championships in 1987. And three players to look at for their number five, Henrik Rodel, number nine, Henning Harnish, and number 12, Hansi Jürgen Gnad. And of course, they've recruited the number seven, Christian Velp. No Detlef Schrempf here, the big German center who played at the Olympics in 1992. He's got a bad knee and he's reportedly very tired as well after a grueling season. Svetislav, a workhorse, demands 100% effort from his team after they lost their first game against Latvia. A big team meeting took place and he demanded 100% effort for the rest of the tournament from the German side and that's exactly what he got. Nikos Pitsikas from Greece and Miguel Betancourt from Spain, the men in charge. What a responsibility they have, but two very experienced referees. And they're the starting five, Sukarov, Bazarevich, Babkov, Mikhailov and Panov. Well, no, Henrik Rodel for Germany, that surprises everyone. And coach Svetislav Pesic, full of surprises. Uh, Spanish referee gets us underway. And Russia get the first touch and the first score. Sergei Babkov opens the score for Russia. Number 10, Russia. Henning Harnish outside the arc for Germany. Hansi Gnad. Hein Nürnberger starting the number 13 for Germany. A lot of responsibility on his shoulders. Anzignad fires up the jumper and levels the scores at twos. Anzignad from Anchorage College in Alaska, drafted by the 76ers but never actually played in the NBA. He was sold to Miami but came back to play in Europe. Bazarevich, while the crowd understandably urging the German team to play tough defense. Bazarevich putting the ball on the floor an awful lot and firing up just inside the arc and the rebound grabbed eventually Hansi Gadad just knocks it to Henning Harnish his kind Nürnberger Nürnberger calls the play for Germany Harnish bit of a local hero easily distinguishable with that headband on Nürnberger to Harnish Arnish finds Benka inside. And that's good defense from the Russians. Here's Bazarevich on the break. Continues his dribble and floats it in. 4-2 to Russia. Smart offense there from a very smart player, Sergei Bazarevich. Arnish on the break and he's fouled. Sergei Panov. Instant response from Henning Harnish to Bazarevich's score. Number 14, Russia, first personal foul. And Henning Harnish on the line. And Harnish just steps back from his foul shot, losing a little bit of power on the line. And this time stands his ground and makes it 4-3 to Russia. The full court pressure now from Germany. Sergei Babkov. Well, had the ball taken out of his hands by Gunter Benka. And here goes Harnish on the break. 
and Germany take the lead 5-4 Kai Nürnberger Germany number 13 that's how to play the fast break he knew there were a couple of rebounders in there so confident to take the jumper Bazarevic oh nice pass Bazarevic over the top and the foul Nürnberger bit of a mismatch inside there so Russia with two foul shots. Number 13, Germany, first personal. Munich, the scene, of course, of a memorable Olympic final way back in 1972. Well, there's another man stepping back on his foul shot, Dmitry Sukarev. And this time, unlike Harnish, he misses the second, but Russia get the rebound. Panov can't keep it alive, and Nuremberger for Germany. That's a great matchup, Nuremberger against Bazarevich. Michael Kopp comes out to help Nuremberger, but not required. Harnish using Benka as the screen. Well, Benka rolled from the screen, but Harnish found Michael Koch instead. Nürnberger on the turnaround. Oh, Nürnberger, that's his fourth point so far. A dream start for Kai Nürnberger. Bazarevich. Bazarevich at the point. Infinity by Michael Koch. Mikhailov offers a pick to Bazarevich, and here's Mikhailov. Well, this is terrific defense from Germany. Denying the Russians even a look at the hoop. But Dmitry Sukarev is fouled. Now, who committed the foul? It's Nürnberger, that's his second. Oh, Nürnberger annoyed with himself for that one. He's trying to play all court defense. You can clearly see, not impressed. Another man who steps back, but this time Sukarev nails the first. And the second, it's a one point lead for Germany. Michael Koch looking to get, get the ball into Hansignad. Well, the attempted hook shot from Gnad. And there's an offensive foul. Henning Harnish. Getting an illegal position on the rebound. There's the baby hook from Gnad. And Harnish going over the top. Bazarevich. Defended by Koch. Mikhailov back to Bazarevich. Sukarev. Oh, that's beautiful play, Bazarevich. Love the offense there from Russia. They rotated, and Bazarevich a give and go, and Russia going to a one-point lead. Here's Michael Koch, defended by Bazarevich. Finds Hansi Gnad, Nürnberger from three-point range. Oh my goodness me, Nürnberger's having a great game. Shame about the two fouls, but he's hit seven points so far. Number 13. This is terrific coaching from coach Svetislav Pesic because nobody expected Nuremberg at the start. Everyone was looking for Henrik Rodel, but the number 13 came on, and at the moment he's having a terrific game. Germany by two, and Nuremberg has got seven of the ten points, and Hansi Gnad fouls Sergei Panov from behind. Uh, Greek referee, eagle eyed. Lovely one-handed pass in there from Bazarevich. Panov. Nice fake, but it was the left hand of Hansi Gnad that the referee spotted. Clean block, but the left hand pushed. And Sergei Panov, much to the uh, enjoyment of the crowd here in Munich, misses the first. But not the second. Nürnberger advances for Germany. The 
Coach Pesic just imploring the offense. Michael Cock hits from three point range, coming off the screen, and he nailed the three. Germany with a four point lead. And here they are in the final. No one's favorites to win this gold medal, but such an easy two there for Dmitry Sukarev. Coach Selikov, the 50 year old coach to the Russian team, signals the defense now. Michael Kott eventually finds Nuremberger. Nuremberger, the hook shot goes in. <laughs> Nine points to Nuremberger. Well, everything he's shot so far has gone in, and the crowd are loving this. It's the guy Nuremberger show so far. Let's his man go past him though, can't foul, he's on two. And a nice easy two there for Mikhail Mikhailov, playing in his first major tournament. Subs lining up along the German bench. I can see Christian Felp, the uh, University of Washington man coming in. Nice pass there from Nuremberger into Hansi Gennad. Gennad keeps his pivot foot down, gets his shot blocked. And that's good defense from the Russians. Babkov pulls up for the three and nails it. That's superb fast break play from Russia. Instant offense. Sergei Babkov plays for the Trier club in the Bundesliga. So the German team know all about him. The number 10 for Russia. Substitution for Germany. And Ziganad comes out and he's replaced by the seven foot center Christian Velp. Currently playing for Bayer Leverkusen, drafted by the 76ers six years ago. And uh, he's replaced Detlef Schremp in this German lineup. And Henning Harnisch hits the open jumper just inside the arc. This is a terrific performance from Germany so far. No one told them that Russia were the favorites. Babkov defended by Nuremberger. Pavkov goes inside, finds the open man. That's Sergei Panov. Lovely pass there from Pavkov. Number 14. And the Russians go into a one-point lead. Nuremberger to Harnish. Harnish uses Welp as a pick. Christian Welp just inside the arc. Oh, just inside the arc from the big guy. Well, posting his intentions there. Standing at seven feet tall and shooting from just inside the arc. Into Benka, playing tough defense. Against Sukarev, that's a good matchup. Here's Bazarevic. Shot clock ticking down and that's an offensive foul. No, no, no. The crowd shout. It's a foul on Michael Koch and he's convinced he got his feet planted. Bazarevic lent in. And the foul went against the defender. Let's have a look, see whether the feet were planted. Wow, that's a close call. But the referee right on the spot and will give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think the crowd would say that though. And Michael Cock, his first foul. Vladimir Gorin in for Russia for the first time. Number four, here he is playing the points. Defended by Harnish, that's a good mismatch. 